Hello friends, Dr. John Galtz back again with another No Longer Picked Last live stream. Coming at you from Fallout 3 this afternoon. And we are going to start a brand new character today. And gonna do something I have not yet done, and that is going to be a, a semi-evil run-through. Now I'm not gonna be necessarily ruthless, but I am not gonna take shit from anybody, and I want to try to keep my negative karma uh, higher than normal. I try to keep a, a neutral character when I play, but uh, there's just so much that's open to evil type characters that I haven't been able to experience yet. So uh, let's give it a try. got a daughter, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby girl. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. Oh, daughter. Oh, our beautiful daughter. You've got a bright future ahead of you, sweetie. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, sweetheart. Daddy, you're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Now, in part, uh, we're going to go with the Caucasoid here next. Let's just do a preset. I don't really have time. All right, preset two might be all right. But actually, I need to customize everything else. Yeah, preset 2, customize, shape, general, heavy, light, bad forehead, brow, eyes. Eh. I don't want to spend too much time. Now, this is usually one of my favorite parts. How about nose, though? You knows what I mean? Pointed, flat, up. Good. What the hell? Uh, that must be that bump in the middle. Short, long, and we're good there. Mouth, cheeks, jaw, chin. They want a turtle chin here, so let's uh don't want a hatchet chin either. Okay, that's gonna be good enough. Uh, tone. She would probably be pale as shit having grown up in a vault, but uh let's see what else we got here. Less flushed, blue tint, I don't know what all that is. Okay, eye sockets, good. Darkened eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lips. Mustache, uh, cheeks, beard. Got it, whatever. Okay, eye color. Green, blue. Hazel. Let's do hazel. I like that. 
hairstyle, unladylike, Iron Maiden. This the kid. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, Wendy the Welder. Actually, that might be okay. Prim and proper. That might be no nonsense. Domestic Goddess. No, I think I'm going to go with Wendy the Welder. That's kind of sexy. It says, I'm not afraid of hard work, but I can do it and still look good, right? Now, here, color. Bleached brown. Chocolate. Chocolate with hazel eyes. Platinum. Suede. Pecan. Auburn ginger. Honey. Gold. I like rosewood. I think we're going to go with the rosewood. Yeah, let's do that. Rosewood and done. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh. That's awesome. Oh, beautiful. Just like her daddy. <laughs> it's a big world out there, honey, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're James? just a... Catherine? James! Catherine! She's in oh, cardiac God. arrest! Start compressions! James. Get the baby out of here! Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on! What's going Hang on, on Bron Freak? Hang on. Thanks for stopping in! Okay. You. We need a doctor, not a dead I'm gonna do an evil run. Maybe not pure James evil, but uh, really I'm gonna lean evil. I have not voice. done evil for quite a while. It's just something you get used to down here. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on. Walk to daddy. So just bear with me as I get out of the vault just here. A further. Papa! There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone. It can be, but I tend to play these games loosely on what I would do in real life. And I just feel so guilty being evil. You know? I was really wanting to play Skyrim, but for some reason the disc is not... It's not working. I put the disc in and it says I need to buy the game. So I don't know why there's no scratches, no dirt, uh, nothing on it. Okay, exit the playpen completed. Look at your special. So, let's take a look here and see. I want to make a... I'm not going to do heavy weapons. Probably not going to do laser weapons. I'd like to do sniper, so I'd need perception up. I want to do some melee. I want to build like a stealthy type character. A strength just for the carry capacity would be good. Uh, perception would be good for shooting. Endurance would be good. I'm just running out of all my points. Charisma I can probably pass. Intelligence would be good. Agility would be good. Okay, luck, I want to grab one more. Charisma, I could probably drop down and throw in an intelligence there just so I can get my computer skills. That's a pretty boring, rounded character. What do you think, man? Not really sure where else I can go with it, so... Any other suggestions on the build? Let me know, man. Hmm. Luck is always good to have a lot of luck. Especially if I'm going to be a, a bitch. Let's see. You 
think I should drop my charisma by one more? I can boost it up a little bit with bobbleheads. So I'm not looking to make friends, but I would like more dialogue options. It just kind of makes the game a little bit more fun. Well, Dagny's a, a hot a hot piece of tail. So she's got the looks, but the personality. No, so I do have one more uh, point. I should probably use it for perception. Uh, let's take a look here. Intelligence, I can boost that up artificially or with drugs. Perception. Strength. Strength is always good for the carrying. Endurance. What does... The hit points, is that endurance? Let's see here. Stats, endurance. Yeah, I think we're going to go for uh, more hit points here. So, whoop, wait, wait. there we go. Strength, it's okay. Perception, all right. Endurance, charisma, three, intelligence. Agility, luck. Okay, let's run with this. Dada? Dada. Dada. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? I am. Me right for trying to I am the Alpha and oh, Omega, okay. the beginning and the I end. Show you I will give unto him that? It was your mother's favorite passage. That it it's from the Bible. That Revelation is a thirst of the I fountain of the water of life freely. The beginning and the end. It's hard to read that. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. I guess he's Before reading it to me. All right, come on. Let's go see. But I'm, I'm to read through that book. All right. And we can see this is not the place that I was born, the uh, high-tech facility with the labs. Nothing matches, so early on we get to know that we weren't actually from the vault. The experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Of course, I guess I Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Yay! She is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, honey. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... Congratulations, young lady. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy. I like how they have the actual uh, the Pip Boy on there. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. The screen. <laughs> Enjoy your party. Ten years old, and I get to You're start working. Once. God, it's have good fun. to be a vault dweller. Hey, Dad. Thanks for everything. Having a good time. Oh, man, you got a pip it wasn't easy I keeping this a secret. There. What? Now go on. I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to the both. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You didn't fool me. I just pretended not to know. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? You got me a... a comic book? Ooh, you got me a date with Freddy Gomez. Amada, you're the best. Gross. I didn't think you even liked boys. Especially not Freddy the Freak. Yuck. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who'd rather curl up with Grognak the Barbarian than Freddy Gomez. The question is, 
How could you tell the difference? <laughs> to go. All right, got a new nice comic part. book here. Hello, Officer Gomez. Happy birthday, Missy. He can't even be bothered to turn around to say hi. And there we go. Don't have too much here yet. We've got the comic. And damn it, I did not want to do that quite yet. But I think that's going to help me get out of here. I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Oh, for some reason? Of course she likes me. Everyone does. The Overseer is an asshole already. Hmm, that's not what I hear. But perhaps she'll set a good example for you. There's still plenty of time for you to make something of yourself. I don't remember him being a dick like this before. Is it just the brief conversation I had with Amada? And he changes his uh, answers? Attention, everyone. It's Happy time birthday. To cup the cake. And Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? See, she changes the subject real quick, but uh, she lets slip that he is not from the vault either. You know, old lady, I hope you brought me something better than last year. Uh, well, now, young people were more polite back in my day, respected their elders. Yeah, back in your day, real that was before the bombs then, dropped. Worthy of respect. Not like that one over there with his rules and his secrets. Why, I have half a mind to just up and tell you. <sighs> oh, my. There I go again with my old lady talk, and you still waiting patiently for your present. I suppose you could have asked more politely, but it is still your birthday. So here you go. A nice sweet roll I baked just for you. Oh, my, my cake! You fucking robot! How's it going, sweetheart? You dumb ass. I am mortified about the cake mishap. Sim I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. What? Sure, Butch. Gah, I don't want your nerd cooties. You're gonna be sorry you did that. We'll see how tough you are later when the grown-ups aren't around. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you any day. Hey, how about the vault I know you were joking, Get it? but I'm not sure anyone to go around all day being called on People always it... This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Really wow, well. Wally Besides Mac. Of yours, you You're an ass hat. Paul, oh, how you doing, man? Uh, this is supposed to be up. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that uh Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh happy birthday and everything. I better get back to you know. Party, you know what? Yeah, you better get back to you know being a dick for your friends. Stanley. How do you like that there pit boy, miss? Fit all right and everything? It's really cool. Did you fix this up for As me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. What's going on, Supersonic? Back Don't again. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Not much, but I hope you like it. Yeah, Paul. Kid's baseball cap. Too. All right. Which such an idiot. Just ignore him. Don't worry about me. I'm not scared of him. I know. He thinks he's so tough. One of these days, we'll figure out a way to get him back, okay? Your new girlfriend. Do you think we surprised her? Who do you mean? I'm sure of it, Amata. 
I never suspected a thing. Hi, honey. Having fun? Yeah, Dad, let's coming, blow this party. I we were busy with the water purifier. Everything's fine, I hope. Oh, sure. What does my hat do? Can't believe I actually accidentally used that comic. I wanted to save that until after I got the uh, perk to double the points. Disappointing. That's too bad. All right. So what am I looking for? Items. Uh, give me a minute just to kind of get. Uh, there we go. Plus five melee. Get the hang of the game again. Jonas. America lives on. I sent her right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. The Balkans? All right. I actually like Jonas. All right, Dad, what are we doing? Complete the party? Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Moira, is that you without the accent? But tell me, Beatrice, why are you talking to me like I'm five? I'm fucking ten! Oh, you are so funny. Ten years old, of course you are. Why, you have your Pip-Boy and everything. I start work tomorrow. And do you know what I did, just for the occasion? Wrote you a poem. I hope oh, you like God. it. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me. No, really. I wrote it just for you. I'd never just copy one of my old poems. Well, there was that one Founder's Day where I couldn't rhyme anything with overseer. But you deserve nothing less than a brand new poem. You can keep it in your Pip-Boy and read it whenever you want. Good ideas. Thanks. Let's see how uh, awesome this birthday poem is, right? Uh, what would that be under miscellaneous? Ammo. Let's see, data would be under, right? Notes. Gray walls, impenetrable steel. Suffocation, condemnation. Little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy, daddy, am I dead? Nay, nay, reborn into purifying fluorescence. This is a kind of dark poem. Then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. I... You know, I should go apologize to her. I actually like that poem. Super Beatrice, cool. hey. I hope you're having a good Jeez, party. Really? Who's that the did gang? you read your Where poem me? yet? I did. You know how to find it in your pit pool, don't you? Nice okay, now what do we have to go? Find Jonas? I, I guess the map's telling us to go this way. Hope I'm going the right way. Oh, there you are, my friend. What are you doing down here, young lady? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm fucking ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. But daddy gives me my surprise at night. Are you ready for your surprise? Not again, Dad. And not in front of Jonas. Since when? Regardless, I think you'll like this one. You're getting older, and you've got your Pip-Boy. I figure you're old enough for this, too. Your own BB gun. <gasps> it's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas awesome, found Dad. it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Yeah! What do I get to Easy kill? now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Oh, you'll shoot your eye out, kid! You know, it, seriously though, just to break character for a minute, that's uh, The Christmas Story. I love that movie, but the book is so much better. you got to read the book if you haven't yet. Gene Shepard is a genius. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is great, Dad. Thanks! Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him.
All right, that. In God's name is wrong with you. He doesn't even turn around to look, though. Let's see, use the vats for the shots? Is that what it said? I guess I can't. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB? Yeah, yeah, if it doesn't scurry away. It's too far behind the crate. Dagny, what's up, girl? You s you're not a very good shot yet. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Let's do it. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture to smile. Cheese. Boys and girls have different parts. Ooh, that's a bright flash. I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like I get any great. kind of special Tell treat. Me. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old girl. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. All right, Dad. If you hey, say so. it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. But, Dad, I feel kind of weird. Take care, All these sweetie. changes. I got out of here. And good luck. I think we need to start talking about getting a training bra, too, Pops. All right. And I don't want to forget this guy right here. Medicine. Man, I'm still upset with myself that I accidentally clicked on, uh, clicked on that comic book. I wanted to save it. All right, where the hell? Hey, morning. bud. Stop it. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? It is. I just came in to grab that bobblehead. Thanks, Morning, Jonas. Jonas. Morning, Doc. How's things? Hey, man. How you doing, Stanley? <coughs> you better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. The herp. All right. I will uh, go take the goat. Get out of my oh, way, you what the hell's going on snakes. here? I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? Butch, Amada doesn't like her, tunnel Amata? snakes. Go She's into me. Hey, look, it's Smart Mouth. Afraid I ain't got time for your fancy words right now. So beat it. You better make time. But seriously, the tunnel snakes? Only the baddest gang in Vault 101, like you don't know. We're yeah, the only gang in Vault 101, what we say Butch. Goes. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. So, what exactly None is going on here, kid. man? Get out of here before Leave you Leave my hurt. girl alone. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Leave her alone or you'll answer to me. And who are you? Her girlfriend? Ha! Should have known. Keep talking like that girl, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. Alright, that's it. Let's fucking You've do this. You've gotta be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes! This twerp needs another lesson! But this stop it! Leave pretty. her alone! Oh, the tough Ow. guy, huh? Ow! Give her another one! Stop it! Hey, Susie, what's new? Oh, not this isn't solving oh, anything. Get him, guys! Stop it! Damn! 
I'm hit! Sure did. Come on, tunnels. Okay, okay, you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. Damn right, you're you not will. worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. Whatever you say, that's so close you're the boss. I'm not tunnel gonna forget this, Butch. Don't well, mess with let's go. Snakes. You either don't mess with the tunnel yeah. snakes. Sure thing. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Sure, let's do it. Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. Uh oh, that sounds here's naughty. Here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. Cool. Well, all right. Here, take a look. All right. What do I want to do? I'm going to be a thiefy, stealthy, shooty kind of character. Small guns. Tag three skills. Okay, small guns. Uh, what would be good? Sneak. Do I want to go melee as well? Yeah, let's do that. I think... Any other builds you guys suggest? Not really interested in barter since I can usually steal what I need or kill the person and take it since we are playing a bad character this time. Not interested in big guns. I want to try to focus on uh, rifles and pistols, energy weapons. Maybe later on I'll do that. Explosives. Oh, pass. Lock pick. I definitely want to work on medicine. Oh, wait, no, I don't want unarmed. I want uh, melee weapons. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, good call, Bronk. I don't know why I just skipped right over that. Uh, so repair, science, medicine, and lot pick are the other four that I'm going to level up with. So let's do this. And it's kind of interesting playing as a uh, not a good character. I'm getting a whole bunch of different uh, dialogue options than I've gotten before. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. You're kind of creepy looking that close. She took my hairstyle too, you see that? It's because her and I are BFFs. In the classroom, we can finally get started. No talk and keep your eyes. That's one thing this game didn't do very well is the uh, coloring. It's either too light when I have my bright, too bright when I have my light on, or too dark. Wake up! Come on, wake up! What's going on? What the hell? Come on! You've got to wake up! I'm up, I'm up. What's wrong? Oh, gross! Knock it off! This is serious! There's nobody around. My we don't have to hide our love, Amada. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. They fucking killed Jonas? It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My God, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. Oh my God. They killed him and I'm next. Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them. But we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. My dad can't have left, though. The doors are sealed shut. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? No, that asshole. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. You are awesome. But how? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Ah, uh, it sounds like a good plan. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. 
Thanks, Amada. I hope you're joking. I'm not you know joking. They fucking killed Jonas. The They're gonna go force. down. Okay. I'll try to meet you at the exit. Good luck. Now let me just uh clear this place out real quick. Uh straighten up my bed. Ah oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna make the bed today. What do we have here? Perception with the cap. Let's see melee weapons plus two and speech plus two. Okay, so the utility jumpsuit definitely want to grab. Actually, grab everything. Bat, ball, glove. Grab the BB gun, some extra BBs. Stim pack. Now, let me see if I can remember how to hotkey some of this stuff. Let's see, aid, stim pack. Key right bumper. Uh, we're gonna go up is gonna be our stim packs. Apparel. I think I'm gonna start with the bat, so I wanna keep my melee weapons. Can I repair this? Let's repair one of these. Oh, did I just fucking roll my, uh... Damn it, I just rolled my, um... Mechanical suit into a jumpsuit, so I lost that, uh... The repair bonus. Son of a bitch! That's the second stupid mistake I've made. And we're gonna set the pistol up, uh, right here. Baseball bat here. And BB gun for the rads right there. Anything in there? Negative, so let us move on out. How do I crouch? There we go. There she is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. Get off me. Yeah. Where is my pistol? There it is. Now he's taking all my XP from the uh, roaches. Roaches are the least of your problems now, Officer Kendall. There's somebody talking. What's in here? Just ratch, road ratch, rad roach meat. But I can take a police baton. Uh, let's take a quick look and see what benefits the apparel has. Offers better protection. Oh, I don't have that cap anymore. Damn it. All right, so I'm just gonna use this cap. Perception. All right, let's stick with this for now. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Oh yeah? You asking me for help? Yeah, I'm asking. Isn't that you. ironic? So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's What's up my with mom. your nose, Butch? It you looks like a, a melted candle. Why do you need my help anyway, though? You afraid of a few roaches? Well, yeah. So I hate rat roaches. So what? I tried to go back in to help her. I swear I did. But I just can't do it. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. Sorry, Butch. You're on You're your own. You're a real bastard. You know that? I hate your fucking guts. All right, that is the last straw. Hey. Over here. You want to talk more shit? But I will take your outfit. Ooh, what kind of bonus do I get with the tunnel snake out? Yeah, let's go with that one. Plus five melee weapons. Ow, that hurts. Ah. 
You drunk old woman. Butchie, help me. Butchie, help me. Butchie ain't coming to help you. Stop it. Oh my god, someone Come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Oh, I just gained karma. I guess I helped her, so that was a plus. Vodka. I believe that gives me a strength boost. Take another jumpsuit. Banana Man, how you doing? Happy Sunday! Where did those things come from? You know, from? if you weren't so busy drinking, maybe you could have uh, raised drink. Butch a little bit better. I blame you in part for all the torment he's uh, given me over the years. For that, you have to pay. Yeah, Butchie ain't coming help. back. Come on, Ellen. I'm going for help. You're not going for help, are you? Now give me that vodka. Very good. It's a great day, man. I wasn't planning on playing the game, this game here, but I couldn't get Skyrim to work. So I decided to go back and revisit Fallout 3. And this is still one of my favorite games. Was there a first aid kit in here? I don't remember. I don't see one on the wall. How about in here? I gotta turn that light off. It, that reflection is just so bright. I might uh, tweak the settings in a little bit. Inaccessible there. Can't get into there. And looks like that is my room. All those security assholes would come in here and watch me sleep, too. Don't think I don't know about that. All residents of Vault 101 are hereby confined to their quarters. You're right, you cannot. I'm really actually looking forward to doing another playthrough of Fallout 4. I'm going to play through on survival mode. Is that the one where you have to actually eat food and drink and sleep and stuff? And I'm going to use a few mods on that. I kind of wanted to use the one that makes it more of a, a green planet instead of just waste. See, was there anything good in here that I needed? see shot glass toaster how are we doing on weight I want to try to get uh, a lot of money built up early on this is the All residents of Vault 101 you know this this playthrough of Skyrim I actually used a mod that gave me a safe house in town and in the safe house uh, one of my employers I've got a whole backstory for that Skyrim game all right banana we'll be here one of my employers though left a, uh, a crafting ring enchanted crafting ring so I can upgrade I can craft weapons and armor and it's uh, almost in impossible to uh, kill me it's, it, it takes a little bit of the fun out of it, but it is, it is just cool. I don't know. It's just different. You found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Okay, Officer Gomez. Thank you. I've always liked you. That's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Oh, but I'm tish. Damn it. I missed the joke and I missed the broom. Damn delay. That's all right, man. You're the one everybody's looking for, right? 
I am. You got a problem with me? Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. I'm not sure how I could help. All right. I will let you live, Stanley, since you're my bud. Kinda. You know Jonas, but you're pretty cool. Requires key. I wonder if Stanley's got the key. See, I got the bobblehead out of here. Was there anything else that I really need in the vault? Don't be such an old woman. Just a few more adjustments and you'll be as good as new. Almost got it. I think I'd rather just stay broke than submit to any further... Are they coming after me? No, okay. Shit. That is not the servo motor switch. To the left. All right. Joshy Skills, thanks for the follow, my friend. Happy day to you. Let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna let uh, Stanley and Officer Gomez survive. But. It's our only chance. There's a Don't reckoning see. coming we'll here. Out of here. Just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me. Tom. Mary. Mary. Tom wouldn't listen to me. You don't want to watch you this. Know how he gets. Tom. No. Yeah, that's real smart. You watched uh, your husband get killed, so you run towards the bullets. Now I know there's gonna be two guys up there with weapons. Pretty sure it's two, right? Officer Richards. Boom! Yeah, look at that. Now I'm going to pull back here. Reload. Actually... Get a little cover here. Is that fool coming? He doesn't want to come out in the open, does he? All right. Set oh, shit. Batter up. Uh, no, actually, Bronk, this is uh, Xbox. PS4 does not have the backwards compatible, so I had to play it on the Xbox. And that said, if you see something going on with this stream, let me know because the Xbox's Twitch app is horrible. Police baton, alright. I'm just gonna grab all this stuff. Uh, Try to consolidate it if I can. My repair skill must not be high enough. Who's next? What's there a locker doing right there? Oh, it's holding the door open. Good. Amada came through again. Uh, it's the same as my name here. It might have some spaces in it. I don't know if that actually matters. Where is my BB gun? I don't want to use all my 9mm. Ah! Alright, alright. Pull out the bat, pull out the bat, dummy. I'm really actually kind of bummed. Uh, no, sorry. The same as my uh, game channel. Hang on. Let me kill this fool. And we are good there. All right. 
right, there's one, one or two more up here. Buzz off, man. Hold it right there. What? I think I'm bleeding. Security Chief Hammond. You've got some crimes to atone for, my friend. I should have shot him in the legs first. How are we doing on a weight? We are still well underweight. Looking good. This is your fault. You and your stupid My, well, Come out here and say that, man. Alright, Roach is dead. It looks like that dude's dead. He probably has a suit that I can take, though. That one that I accidentally, um... repaired into the other suit. Oh! You stay down! I'm playing it on an Xbox One, but it's an Xbox 360 disc. I should probably just shoot him in the carapace instead of the head. Let's see. Oh, something's hitting me from the back, man. And it's not the uh, dirty old security team this time. All right, Floyd. Ooh, glasses. Ah, uh, there we go. Utility jumpsuit. That's what I needed. So you wrench one to one. Toolbox. Give me something good. Ooh, conductor. I don't want to grab everything. You know, in a lot of ways, I do like this better than Fallout 4. I think uh, New Vegas is my favorite of the series. But as far as story and dialogue go, this game is uh, just light years ahead of Fallout 4. What the hell do we have going on in here? Just tell us where to find your friend so we can talk to her. She's my friend. I was worried about her. What does she have to do with... Oh right there. my god! Damn. Officer Mac. Yeah. Amada, I had to kill your dad. And I will be doing a uh, playthrough of New Vegas sometime. She doesn't seem too uh, upset about me just shooting her father in the back of the head. She's probably going to have a couple choice words for me, though. My God, what have you done? You killed him! Why would you kill my father? It's not going to let me answer? Me. I can't talk to you right now. Honey. Please. All right. All right, grabbing everything here. And we have some lore in here. Lock cell door. Not interested in that. I'll try it with the spaces then. There's some ammo. It's a pretty old uh, Xbox name. I remember they used to let us use spaces in it. They don't anymore, I believe. One of the things I liked about the uh, Fallout 4, though, is the settlement building. A lot of people said that was just a distraction and a gimmick, but I probably spent as much time making settlements as I did playing the story. I just, I love that aspect. Right, I think that's going to be about it. Let me just check these. And what do we got here? I think we're good. No reds coming up on the map, so swing around here. Not 
looking too bad. And Jonas, my friend. Note from Dad. Good stim pack. Ooh, and a plus five science with a lab coat. Maybe this note here. I don't know why the uh, security crew didn't search him to see what the note said. Uh, so where would it be? Data? Note from Dad. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. All right, Dad, you did not think this I through. I know you couldn't have foreseen that they'd be coming after me if you took off. Amada, it's a clever password. One, two, three, four, five would have been my next guess. Did I just pick up a paperweight? Oh my god. Coffee pot? Uh, it's not worth anything. Okay, uh, yeah, give me just a moment here. Let me get out of the vault and I will see what we can do. Let's see what he says about Amada. She's just a rebel. She doesn't like her father. Pretty standard stuff. Scouting reports, though. This might be important. The vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated. So he does know that uh, getting outside is livable, but he does not want to let people out. They attack me because they think that I was in on a plan to escape the vault with my father. That's why the security... The, uh, the overseer doesn't like me anyway. I don't know why. Maybe because I was an asshole, but uh, welcome to the stream, Darkblade. Hope you're having a great day. Have you not played this game before? It's still uh, early on, so there's not really too many spoilers. Alright, I think I've got everything in here that I need to get. Oh, there's a locker. I didn't... Ah, okay... So I didn't actually go through the lockers, but now I think I've gotten everything I need to get. Okay, open the tunnel. Now, this is kind of cool. If you guys ever played the original Fallouts, uh, the Overseers in the vaults did have elevated desks like this, remember? And they'd actually sit up there and they'd kind of watch over the production floor and everything. Alright, so we are almost done here. If you like these kind of games, I'd give it another chance. I can understand how frustrating it would be. But uh, once the the once it clicks on how these games work, they are just uh, addicting. I actually played um, Morrowinds a long time before I played this, 
and I played it for a, quite a while, but I just, I still couldn't get the mindset around the whole open world, uh, create your character thing. So I just did not enjoy it as much as I think I would with a, another playthrough. What the hell? Is that the door I just came in? What am I missing? Oh, there's a button right there. Ooh. It's a fucking secret button. Oh, better map. I think Fallout 4 is more diverse when it comes to uh, different types of terrain. But honestly, it's been uh, quite a while since I've played much, played much of this too. Good, you're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you, you didn't have to kill him. I had to kill him. He was a dick, and I was doing it to protect you, Amada. So you say. Maybe one day I'll be able to forgive you, but not now. I hope you never have to find out what it's like to see your father killed right in front of you. No. Don't listen to me. Just, just go. Find your father. I have to go bury mine. I thought they uh, incinerated people in the vault here. They don't actually bury them. Well, why don't you come with me? Your dad's dead. I killed him. There's nothing left for you here. No, I can't. Not with you, not now. You'd better leave before I change my mind about letting you go. JP, man, happy Sunday. Oh, shit, some... Pissed off security dudes. No! Alright, we're gonna take off. Officer Wolf's hit 3% to hit that. We're just gonna go for some torso shots here. One more shot. Alright, he. Whoa! I don't wanna get crushed by that giant cog, the door rolling out of the way. My AP has recharged. All right, these. This is for all that sexual abuse you've the given me over the years, you fucking asshole. All right, let's see how close we're getting here. Ah, shit. Hang on, guys. Going great, JP. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't play Skyrim. It's just not working today for some reason. But uh, this is a good second choice. So I'm not too sad. I just wanted to make some more progress with Ninja Kitty. But uh, yeah, we've got Dagna here. So we're going to do, do some good. Do some bad. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to keep the jumpsuit... Okay, I'm just going to have to throw some of these down. Let's see, drop, that'd be this. Actually, how much are they worth? Value three? Later, suckers. Who did I let live? Amada, Stanley, and Officer Gomez. I think I took everybody else out. Uh, edit tag skill. I, I think we're good here. If I could go back and get that uh, comic book, I would, but I can't, so let's do that. And give me just a moment here, guys. Let me take a look at something here. Ah, crap. Ran out of time. So bright. You know, the first time I walked out of the vault in the sun, it just... The brightness just hurt my eyes. It's just fucking amazing. You come out here and you look around. It's like, wow. Alright, now what are we gonna do? Probably want to get uh, guns up a little bit more. 16 points. 
Don't ask me why, but I like to have nice round numbers. Melee weapons. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. So, okay, I got three points left. Don't want them in explosives, though. Lockpick would be good, and repair would probably help out a bit. Actually, let's do that. This way, maybe I can repair some of my stuff. All right, Black Widow. 10% damage against male opponents, which is good because... I haven't actually counted, but it seems like I do come across a lot more men than women. So that's probably something I want to grab. Gain an additional five points to science and medicine. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. Intense training. Ooh. Actually, all these look good. Swift Learner Perk. I think that's going to be the early one, so all my experience uh, doubles. Okay, so th these early skills are all pretty good. Fallout 4 difficulty is extremely hard. I tried it, uh, I tried it just to see how, how hard it really was, and it is, it is tough. I'm just playing on regular here. And I'm not going to play on difficult when I play 4 again, but I am going to go through the survival mode. I'm going to do survival mode on uh, New Vegas when I play that as well. Yep, so Swift Learn. Now, where do I go? Megaton? You know what? There's actually... Oh. Local map, world map. Vault 101. How do you zoom out on the map? Let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. Which direction is Megaton in? Down the road? All right. I always like looking in the mailboxes here. See, they just leave drugs and grenades in the mailbox, man. I wish I could get that kind of delivery at my house. Let's see. Springvale. Okay, that's just the iBot there. Right, we're going to leave him be. Empty soda bottle. That's just a one-to-one -one ratio. Not worth carrying around. Now, I don't really remember where anything is. None of the bobbleheads or anything. I do have a handy uh, collector's edition guidebook sitting at my feet, but I'm going to try to play through it as much as I can without using it. Oh, how many do I have? Nine more. No, I do not believe they're remastering it, Darkblade. I've not heard anything, but I doubt it. I am disappointed. They already said they are not going to remaster uh, Oblivion. Because that game was actually funner than uh, Skyrim. But you never know. I think uh, Bethesda's E3 show is this afternoon. So that might be worth watching to see what they got coming up. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come Silver? from? Did Moriarty send you? Who's Moriarty? Colin Moriarty. The owner of Moriarty's Saloon in Megaton. That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. Well, are you? See, the problem is I have not been to Moriarty, but it's already giving me story options. 
Slow down, slow down. I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me, tell me the story. Look, I used to work for that slob doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with a pig to seal the deal. Next morning, he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. Look, just give me the caps and I'll tell him you're gone. Look, I don't know who you are. I'm not just handing over my life's earnings to you. You know, maybe he's right. You do look kind of like a junkie to me, Tweak. Look, I feel awful about what I used to have to do for a living, okay? I used the psycho to make the memories go away. Who the hell are you to judge me? Tell Moriarty he can take his fucking caps and shove them up his ass. All right, all right, all right. Just give me some of your caps, and I'll tell him that you're gone. You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. All right, that's 300 caps in the bank. Now, let's uh, work on our skills here. Detected, hidden, paint gun. Actually, that's going to be worth carrying around. Thought she may have seen that. We're gonna steal her drugs. Turpentine. I'm gonna be pretty heavy in just a moment, though. Ooh, jet. Ooh, cigarettes are definitely something worth grabbing. Pork and beans. Do I want to grab a bunch of food? I don't think I've got uh, the carry capacity for all this stuff. I might just come back. Ooh, scrap metal, though. The one thing... You're right in part. The one thing I hated about Oblivion was the damn Oblivion gates. I just did not like the world that it took me through. When I went in there, pilot light, we're going to grab that. Then we're going to have to drop some weight, though. Anything else in here? And how about this? Psycho. I might come back for that later. Keep your hands to yourself. Just get out of here so you don't see me stealing your shit, and we'll be good, girl. Hidden bobby pins. Need those. And I'll come back for that later. Okay, I think we're good. No, New Vegas is my favorite Fallout game so far. I liked the uh, survival mode they put into it. I liked the character building. I liked the story. I liked the different factions. They still had good uh, dialogue choices. You know, in the new Fallout, Fallout 4... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Where the hell am I going, man? All right. Guys, which way is Megaton? Is it north? Vault 101, Springvale. Is it s due south? Okay, south, south. Just head down this road. Okay, we're good. But I think the most disappointing part of Fallout 4 is the uh, horrible dialogue options. Now, it seemed like... Every every choice you made kind of went to the same place. I'll come gather stuff later. I don't really have have uh, carry capacity for it right now.
Got to keep my weapon drawn, too. Can I pick up a skull? I just do not trust. I've never been out of the vault before, so I'm not sure what to expect. But if even half the stories I've heard are true, then this is not a place to uh, get careless in. Who are you? Mickey? Can you help me? I need water. Purified water. Please. Uh, I'm not going to give you any purified water. Maybe some dirty water I picked up. I've been drinking this irradiated shit and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water. Please. Yeah, well, you're going to have to go work for it, man. I... I understand. You have to look out for yourself. Just leave me. Yeah, I actually saved it uh, near the ending. And I replayed through all the different faction choices. Yeah, JP, I'm, I'm playing a, a bad chick this time. Have yourself a nice visit. And I've already noticed a bunch of uh, different dialogue options, and this, the basic story stays the same, but people treat me different, and I've got a whole bunch of different things to do just by having bad karma. So it's it's going to be fun. I'll be dead. Another newcomer. How do I put my weapon away? There we go. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. Nice town you got here, sheriff. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Well, thank you, sir. God, I hope you ain't one of those psychotic quiet types. So, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for my dad, middle-aged guy, uh, white. Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Uh, what can you tell me about the town, what do you though? you want to know? Why do you guys call it Megaton? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in... It hasn't gone off yet. I'll see if I can fix that. One day that thing's gonna go off. You're living on borrowed time. Nah, that's a little bit... T t well, I don't know. We're gonna take this one, though. Why the hell would you guys build a town around a bomb? It's not Fucking like crazy. the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades. Been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Oh, JP, that's a good one. <laughs> I really need to get one of those sound effects boards. Rim shots. All right. If that bomb ever explodes, it would be doing the world a favor. I only have these answers. Ah, whatever, man. I don't plan on sticking around very long anyway. No. Nope. Or I'll see what I can do about disarming that bomb. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Ooh, I like that, but it's not going to come cheap. My speech roll at 6%. Not an option, Failed, I'm of afraid. course. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. All right, so let's talk about something else. That's another thing I didn't like about this game is you can't back out of conversations with a push of a button. You All actually right, have to... Follow the dialogue out. Have a good one. 
Okay, now we've got him. I got my Tunnel Snakes jacket here. I am fucking styling Megathon Settler. You don't have a name. So she's actually looking at the leak right there. So that's good to remember where those are. I know we're going to have to fix those, and I did steal some scrap metal from somewhere. Another uh, nameless settler. Ooh, Jenny. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Uh, are you married, Jenny? What's on the menu? Here, take a look. You know, my friend Silver, that uh, junkie whore back in uh, Springvale, had a bunch of this stuff. Maybe I'll go back and steal it from her later. But for now, let's get down to business. I'm looking for Dad. Oh, man, you're looking for your dad? That is so sweet. Did he run out on you when you were a kid or something? Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry. But You're I right. Seen your dad. He didn't need it. The brass lantern. I'd remember if he did. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to know about the town, but uh, any rumors you can tell me about? I ain't heard much. Truth be told, I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day. You know. I know. I know. All right. That's I'm it. I gotta something. take off. Blind oh wait, I probably could have sold some stuff to her. Will she so, buy some of the stuff? We've got some noodles and... Uh, actually, I think I've stolen too. most of it. I don't remember if they refused to buy uh, hey, stolen items or not in this game. Fresh, but it'll keep you going. I want to hold on. I could probably get rid of this. Uh, not even worth it. Okay, cigarettes, though. 25. Conductor... I think it's a little too early to start planning the builds, so I'm just going to sell all this crap off. I'll find it later when I need it. Scrap metal I want to hold on to. I want to keep my drugs, keep my water, vodka. That's going to give me strength for when I'm uh, carrying too much. I'm going to sell some of these jumpsuits here. Okay, this is speech plus two. Actually, I probably should have put that on. I don't know if speech affects uh, prices that I can get. No, JP, it's not uh, strength or a good buzz. It's strength and a good buzz. And that is the key. Okay, I want to hold on to this. Uh, the utility jumpsuit. That gives me plus five lockpick, plus five repair. I'm going to hold on to the lab uniform. Let's see here. Damn it, where the hell did they go? Okay, jumpsuit. Tunnel snake outfit. I thought eyeglasses gave perception bonus. Maybe just special ones. Yeah, let me try to... Oh, wait, no, don't cancel. Let's accept that. Sunglasses, okay, Enjoy. absolute. All right, let Have me back one, out, see if I can make one decent set of armor out of all the ones that I picked up here. 35% repair skill needed. Damn it, okay, so that's not going to really work. So, what'll it be today? What was my repair skill at? 30? Ramen steak is pretty good, too. Damn, I should have thrown a little bit more, uh, a little bit more points in hey. that. All right, so we're gonna sell most of these. Hold on to two. Shit, did I just sell that helmet that I was gonna keep? Ah, screw it. I've got a baseball cap. Good enough. Enjoy. Come back if you need something. And what do I have? I've just got generic vodka, isn't that right? 
Uh, is that a... I don't know what the hell that is. What's that symbol? Huh. I'll look around. Hey, settler, have you seen my father? Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend Confessor Cromwell. We hear. Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child. Come Man, to it the looks like that anytime, undying glow gets him pretty damn all. stoned, doesn't it? Uh, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Many of the transient visitors end up at one of Megaton's seedier establishments. I suggest you speak to Colin Moriarty and continue your search there. Moriarty, that's the guy that Silver was telling me about. Okay, we completed that. Uh, next... Step in the mission. Talk to Moriarty about Dad. Confessor, have you ever traveled outside of Megaton? How about some rumors? News. My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps. So they say. Moira's awesome. I think she's probably one of my favorites here in Megaton. Tell me about this Church of Atom. Yes, what would you like to know? Explain what you believe here. The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. Oh, when that atomic mass is split, so it's kind of like a uh, men in black divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here 200 years ago where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, we see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Have you never played this before, JP? Why do you worship the bomb? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Seriously, what the fuck Even is wrong with you people? The truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. Now, I really do like how it's, uh, they built a religion that can kind of tie into contemporary religions here. And if you'd imagine it just kind of being corrupted over two centuries. As you wish. Uh, and how you'd end up with uh, atoms like this. Or a religion like this. Walk in the glow. Now, let's take a quick look at this bomb. I don't think my science is going to be nearly enough to do anything with it. Damn it. Is there a place to stand? Ah, uh, yeah, explosives. Okay, I'm not even going to be able to do that. Hey, man, you look just like the sheriff. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Now, I don't know how to take care or how to uh, take that. That could be naughty or it could be innocent. Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents, but Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. 
What's the word around town, little girl? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Mega Ten longer than anyone. All right, I'll go talk to Manya. Bye, lady. Thanks. Zenu and the uh, volcanoes and the spaceships. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend what are you doing? now to the words. Why is your hand so big? Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. All right. So uh, where am I going to I was going to go look for Manya and I've got to talk with Moriarty. Do I have any other side quests here? JP, you if you like this kind of game, you definitely need to play this, man. I've got to recommend it to everybody. Lucy West's house. Let's see if she's got anything interesting. Uh, iguana bits. Ooh, a Nuka Cola. Is there somebody here? No. Empty bottle. What do you have hiding in the box? Iron. How about this one? Knife and turpentine. I'll come back for some of this stuff later. Metal box is empty, empty. Bed. Let's see, cannot sleep there. Locker, locker. Okay, everything looks empty here. Nothing big right there. Okay, let's head back outside. Now, let's go find Moriarty's. I think I've sold everything I've got to sell at this point. Alright, here is where my house is going to be. If I decide to spare the town. Okay, this is where I came in. So Moriarty's was up around this way, I believe. There's the awesome Church of Adam. Look at that beautiful holy glow. Let's see, what do we have here? Crater Side Supply. It's still open. Maybe I'll go pick up some quests from Moira. Hey, you. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Crater Side Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help you want me, out, me to contribute you? to your book? Uh, yeah, I've got plenty to say. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Now, the outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. I love that answer. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. And Here, she comes right back with a witty answer. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. All right. Tell me a little bit more about this book, but first, what's pay? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Ooh. You bet I am. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the waste. Banana right? man, welcome back. People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's anyone ever happy when anyway. that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Okay. 
I guess I'll help you with the survival guide, but let's talk about the pay. Oh, uh, caps, cams, meds, and maybe... Okay, I guess it's not going to let me uh, negotiate. Of... Alright, let's get on with it. Alright then. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Very Ooh, good. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Oh, I don't know. Getting food doesn't sound too bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. All right, I will check that out for you, girl. Oh, great. Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Got it. And not really... I don't want to talk to her too much. I just want my money. Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? All right, now let's go find Moriarty, see what he's got to say about my dad. Uh, let's see. It is getting dark out here. Megaton Settler. Maggie again. And who is this? Settler. Uh, back door to Moriarty's, huh? You know what? Now's a good time to uh, test my lockpick skills. Are these all old saves? I wonder if the uh, saves carry over from my uh, 360. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Nobody's watching me. This is a very easy lock. Oh, oh, careful now. I think it's going to be this way. I hope he's not sitting right in the office there. There are people in here, so I probably better kind of scoot out. I got the XP for it. Actually, you know what? Oh, shit. Jericho. Ah, oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You don't look like you belong here, dick. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. Have you ever considered getting back out there, man? You look like a tough cookie. What? Back out where? What do you think, dummy? We're talking about the wastes, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. Left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, killing, stealing. Sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? You know... I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? I know. But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is going to take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. Why don't you roll with me, Jericho? No offense, kid. But you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. Now, I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. All right, nah, I gotta check my karma so level. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? Uh, what's the word around town? A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Uh, this will buy you something. <laughs> You're going to have to do better than that, kid. Thanks for the drink, though. All right, whatever, man. 
Come back if you need something. Yeah, he didn't seem to care that... But he didn't see me actually breaking the door, and if I just walk into an already open door, it does not uh, bother him. And if he's going to stand there, I'm hidden, so I might be able to... Oh, I don't even have the science skill. I've got the uh, uniform, the lab coat. That gives me a plus five on science. But is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Uh, let's see, Mentats, don't they bump up my science a little bit? Mm. Intelligence, that might help. I don't think I'm quite high enough level to uh, to hack yeah, that computer yet, but let's take a look here in, in the closet. I've never actually partnered up with Jericho in my previous games, so I want to try to do that now. He seems like a cool guy. Ah, oh, great. And there's the actual password. I lost karma. Good, good. Oh, no, oh, shit. What's up, Jericho? Yeah, what the hell do you want? Hey, who are you? Moriarty, Moriarty. just the guy I was That's looking for. Service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwards little bar. I wish these guys would you stand up and face me when I've I'm talking to them. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father. My I heard God, you know you. where he could be. A little baby girl, all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Okay, so I already know my father and I weren't born in Vault 101. No, it wasn't sealed. I just don't want to fuck with you and your stupid games, Colin. You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Ah. <sighs> All right, here's a hundred caps. What what are you playing, uh, Banana Man? Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into D.C. to the Galaxy News radio station. Uh, good luck now. Miss West. Galaxy News radio, huh? Okay, I'm going to wait for Colin to uh, finish up whatever he's doing there before I come back here and try to hack that computer. Because I'm sure there's going to be more information about Dad or maybe something else important. Gob? The hell kind of name is Gob? Yo, what the fuck is wrong with your face, bro? Drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? What the hell's a ghoul? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. How do you reproduce, I guess? If you have children, are you... Do you have a baby ghoul? Or were you born human and you just kind of... Ghouled over time with exposure to the rads? Yeah, your, your face is kind of growing on me, though, bud. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? Fake it till you make it and all that. Still, though. A fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Where'd you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. 
Oh, indentured servitude, huh? Tell Carol that I said hi. Carol? A ghoul hive in D.C. Sounds familiar. Guess the swamp didn't get drained after all 200 years ago. But uh, tell me a little bit more about Galaxy News Radio. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that instead of being stuck in this dive. All right, Gob. I'll Come talk to you later. Soon. Looking spree. The rest will cost you. Ghouls. Oh shit. You making a move, huh? You talking to me? All right, here comes Moriarty. Evening. I don't think you can be born a ghoul. Hey, give me in. I want to talk to you. Me? Why? Look. All right, I've got the password. I'm hidden. Let's uh, just go in here. Do a quick hack. Residence Jericho. Let's see what uh, Jericho's had a bad, been a bad boy. He tried to slip her some of the old gun barrel while she's yelling no. Oh, he's lucky the gun didn't go off. Wow. Leo. Never trust a junkie. Let's see. Andy. Guy's a real piece of work. Competition, so he doesn't like Andy. Billy Creel. You can be born as a ghoul. But I guess the question is, two ghouls who were born human but turned to ghouls they have a kid. That kid's not automatically a ghoul. The kid could be born normal, right? Okay, and visitors. James from Vault 101. Dad, is that you? So, out of nowhere, James comes back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me where the hell he could get a uh, get the lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. Galaxy News Radio. So that's pretty much what he said. He has a kid with him, some baby, that wouldn't shut the fuck up. That must have been me. Normally I would have kicked someone out, but he had a way with the words. Well, he didn't pass on his charisma skills to me, unfortunately. And what about Mr. Burke? This guy's a class A weirdo. One day I'm wiping down the bar and this fucker comes from out of nowhere. Didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some sort of opportunist to come through. And I am a fucking opportunist, if there ever was one. As long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay till that damn bomb explodes in the center of town. And tabs. Jericho owes Doc Church. Okay, so we're good here. Hopefully we can back out without being seen. Very good. Now Mr. Burke is out here, and I think we should be good. Moriarty, though. You're still standing here, and I can't think why. You know where your father went. Seems to me you ought to be out searching the waste. Didn't you have something to say? I met somebody named Silver. Uh, let's see, what's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing... She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. And what's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. All right, so I'm going to head to Galaxy Radio, find out more about my dad, talk with Three Dog. Uh, what about the area outside of Megaton? Wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? You know, for some reason, it's not giving me the uh, mission with Silver. Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. 
shit, it must be because I talked with her earlier. So did I miss out on the experience points that I would have gotten for completing the mission? Hey. Got something on your mind? Information I got. I get on settler, settler. Evening. Settler. Hey Lucy, what's going on? What are you scared of? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? You're blunt. Uh, yeah, but uh, stopped in just to find something to do. Looking I hope for dad. I have something to do. You mean a job? Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Ooh, delivery. A job usually means I get paid, though. I ain't doing it for free. Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But well, maybe I can shack up nice with you there, rent free, I of course. My father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Uh, yeah, if Dad pays me, and if he doesn't, I'm just gonna be taking my money. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. So tell me a little bit more about uh, Arafu. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is it? Can you mark it on my map here? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. And why do you think your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Uh, who else lives there? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. All right, doesn't sound like too hard of a job. Uh, anything else I need to know? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Well, I don't know. You seem kind of lazy to me. Okay. I've got to go now. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yeah, thank me when I get back. Hey, thanks for the uh, lore there, Banana. What? My, my. You signaling to me? Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. So you're the creepy you, Mr. Burke. Well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. You're right, JP. We could probably work something out, but my heart belongs to Amada, and she stayed back in the vault. She's a little, uh, salty because I shot her dad in the back of the head. But it's still too soon for me to get into another relationship. Remember the bounty hunter or the bodyguard from Pizza the Hut's bodyguard? This guy reminds me of him. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. JP, we never laugh about fucking pizza day. But no, I didn't. Not yet. I'm actually going to grab a pizza when I'm done streaming tonight and watch Bacon's uh, channel. But, uh, so you want to destroy the town, eh? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The Ooh. undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. 
I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. You know, I am seriously going to consider blowing up the town, but it is still useful to me. I, I wish my speech was a little bit higher. Throwing an extra 500 caps, you've got yourself a deal. Is there a drug or something I can use to increase my speech? I can change clothes. Shit, and I can't back out and use it now, huh? Well played. Ooh, success! An extra 500 caps, in addition to the base fee when Megaton lies in ruins. Here's the fusion pulse charge. Place it in the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. Tenpenny Tower. You can't miss it. Any questions? I'm messing with that bomb seems pretty technical, man. What if I can't do it? Lack the aptitude, you mean. You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have something to help you concentrate. He's got a ah, bit of a reputation. Ah, okay. Can I warn these people? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. Well, yeah, as long as the money's good. If you double-cross me, though, my friend... Don't let me keep you. All right, so I think we talked with everybody here in town that we need to talk to. Let me take a quick look at my quest log. First thing I need to do is get the uh, Wasteland Survival Guide completed. So that's going to take a few episodes. So we're not going to be blowing up Megaton anytime soon. Blood Ties deliver Lucy's message. The power of the Atom. Let me go talk to Leo about buying some drugs. I don't know if I'm going to get XP for that or not. Let's see. So he's downstairs. He should be by the front door. Is that right? Ish. Front door-ish. I don't remember. I remember Mrs. Stahl was right down there by the uh, front gate, though. First place I saw when I walked in. You got something Jericho. To say kid. Ooh, yeah, let's... Uh, Actually, look and see what my uh, karma level is. Where the hell is it here? General? Neutral. Vault Renegade. I've been doing a lot of stealing and killing. I guess they don't actually assign it a point. It just says neutral. I'm going to have to be a little bit more bitchy if I want Jared Code to be uh, impressed. Let's see. The Brass Lantern. Let's go see what this is. Hey, be more careful. What? Ooh, darts, though. I want to grab those. Who detects me? Oh, you. Salisbury steak. What else do we got here? Sink. It requires a key. Ooh, a safe. That's a very hard safe to open, though. I'm not going to be able to do it. it. Oh, hi. Anything else back here? Metal box is empty. Bed. Metal box is empty. Locker, locker, locker. Up the stairs. It says detected, though. It must be a light sleeper. 
All right, I'm not going to be able to pick his pocket right now. Let's just see what he has to say. Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny You're or fucking Leo. sleeping, man. Otherwise, I you're can't You're not help busy. You. But you know what? I heard around town that you're the guy that's got the stuff. But that doesn't look like it's an option in the conversation. Yeah, catch you later. Oh, I'll have to come back for that then. Alright, anything else that I can steal? No, not with her sitting there. Now, so... Let's take a quick look here at the map again. I want to... Blood Ties. We're going to do that later. Wasteland Survival Guide. There we are. We're just going to strike out east. Uh, if we hit the river, we've gone too far. And I should probably put on that armor since I'll be doing a lot of shooting. All I've got is that 9 mil or 10 millimeter pistol. Shit. Okay, I can repair those. Very good. Grenades are good. I might want to uh, hotkey these things. Maybe right there is good for that. Let's do take a look at these. Damage 5. How much is the bat? Damage 8. Okay. Just kind of want to repair some of these up. To save some space in my pack. Alright, so that saves some space. I did want to actually hotkey this. Okay, good. Now let's get on out of here. Let's go find this uh, place called Super Duper Mart. Never heard of it, but it sounds like some place. What the hell? Alright, I must have got turned around down here. That uh, damn irradiated water just got me, uh, got me going the wrong way. Have a good day, Sheriff. There we are. Let's get on out of here. And Welcome what's up here, man? Megaton. Still night. Please stand clear of the gate. Ooh, who's this? Traitors. Evening. Doc Hawk. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Ooh, sounds promising. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff. Procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? I'm here to buy, repair, sell, and okay. See you next Not time. really you anything I'm interested in at the moment. Caravan guard. All right. Not a problem. Okay. Looks like we're gonna head east. That sounds about right. I get my pistol out just in case. And while we wait, uh, for those of you that have played this game, uh, why don't you tell me what type of build you've got? This or any of the fallouts? I think I'm going to go with a, a more stealthy build. I'd like to have some kind of melee weapons, but I'm going to mainly stick with... Uh, Projectile firearms, no big guns, no lasers, uh, no heavy, heavy explosive -y types. I guess I should keep my eye on the compass here as well. What do we 
got here a freaking mole rat. Can I one-shot these with a baseball bat? Ouch. No, I can't. 6 XP, though. That dirty thing got a nice bite in on me. Let's see here. Ah, okay. There's a building back there, too. I wonder what that is. Looks like some kind of, uh, or this. Apartment, maybe? Office building? I'm not sure. All right. There we go. Dagny, let's do it. Take a look in the dumpsters here. Empty, empty trash bins. There's an old bus. Looks like a bus stop. Super Duper Mart discovered. And we've got uh, corpses hanging from chains here. Decorations or warning signs? I'm not sure. Why not both? Who's this? Wastelander, okay. Looks like one of them ghouls. And you too, huh? Looks like she's taking some damage, or Good. he. Thanks for not attacking us. Most people don't tolerate ghouls. What are you doing wandering around out here? We were on our way to Wonderworld, but we couldn't make it past the super mutants. So now we're just going to find our own place in the wasteland. Ah, Underworld, huh, in DC? Then leave. We'll do just fine without you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you oh, no. dead shortly. Thanks for not attacking us. Most people don't tolerate ghouls. What? Is this the same guy with the same uh, dialogue? Then leave. We'll do just fine without you. Now this is a little bit too creepy. Ah, why don't you go swing? No. Hey. I don't trust people that look and talk the same. Now, what do you have? A knife? Uh, Wasteland Wanderer outfit, okay. Ramen skin outfit. Frag grenade. Not bad. Two Nuka Colas. That just kind of creeped me out, man. Same voice. Oh, here's your friend. Looks like the raider got to him first. Got to him before I did. Badlands armor. I think my armor... Let me compare that. I'm not quite sure if that's going to be... better or worse. Ooh, a Nuka-Cola Quantum. I thought there was a, some kind of... achievement for collecting all the Nuka-Cola Quantums. I'm not quite sure... Clone ghouls. That's what I'm thinking, JP. It, it just creeps me out, so I, I had to kill him. I wasn't wrong, was I? Let's see. Cannot quite repair that yet. Can I repair this? There we are. Great. Let's see, apparel. What did I just pick up? I'm going to hold on to this. I'm not quite sure why I'm not wearing that. Wastelander Wanderer outfit. What does my hat give me? Perception plus one. That's going to help my shooting. Uh, let's see... I guess I'm going to stick with that for now. No uh, damage resistance. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, man. Fuck those people in GTA. Oh, and here's another uh, body over here. Raider. 
Ooh, more vodka. Damage resistance six. I'm going to leave that here for now. Let's uh, do a quick save and we'll go see what's inside the Super Dupe Mart. That's one of the things I didn't like about uh, GTA, man. It's, it's fun for a while. But if that keeps happening over and over, especially the guys that just wait outside the missions for you to uh, come out, you know, then they kill you, take the money that you just won. All right, so I see some fool walking around up there. Looks like there's a guy over to the left. Does he see me? No, I'm still hidden. He's almost floating, though. He's like uh, Chris Angel or something, just walking up there. I want him to turn around, because I think I saw somebody on my compass to the left. Alright, caution. Alright, he's going back down. We're good there. Was there somebody over here? Shit. Ah. Ouch. Yeah, you hold that head, man. Danger. Now they all know I'm here, though. They heard the gunshots. I've got 203 rounds. You're ugly. God, how am I missing that? Alright, what was it? Up for health? There we go. So she took off. She's going to go warn everybody else. That's not how I wanted to start this uh, Super Duper Mart run. Mash, what's going on? How you doing? Where'd they all go? Ooh, level up. It sure is quiet. All right, let me go see what this guy dropped. What did I need? I needed repair. Small guns, I probably want to throw some more in too. Lock pick would be nice. Medicine, three points, science. Continue. There we go. Okay, now Swift Learner 2. Get a little bit more XP each time. What do we got here, man? Is this the uh, drug table here in the bathroom stall? Ooh, buff out, though. Medex. Sure is dark and it kind of stinks in here, man. You... There's a bed. Can I sleep there? Somebody's coming up on me. No, maybe not. The question is, did I scare her away? Why hasn't she brought her friends back in? Ooh, a Chinese pistol. Great. Oh, there we go. Big guns and explosives. Too bad I don't plan on running with either of those, but... Uh... Let's see what else we've got here. Plunger, one-to-one. -one. That's not really worth carrying. Not much else back here. I guess I could hide behind the table if I need to. How about in here? Nothing. Who's 
Hey girl. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Not too bad there. Not a home run. But uh, it got the job done. Now we are losing our shadow here. Probably going to have to switch back to our weapon. That guy's wandering around a little bit. Oh my god, I missed. I'm as bad at aiming at this as I am in uh, GTA. I don't remember them being getting scared of running away. Maybe it's just I haven't played this for a while. Time to reload. We're going to move up a little bit here. Was that three down or two down? Good one, Dagny. Good one. Gonna take the frag grenade. Last master armor. Uh, not really gonna grab that. Ooh, an assault rifle. Wasn't there one more over here somewhere? Ah, uh, okay. Keep it quiet. Keep it quiet. Oh, I was adjusting and I hit my freaking uh, trigger on my pants. Alright. I can't let you live now. Is there a sprint in this game? Ah, damn it. Okay. I shot him right in the back. Come on, man. Don't kill me. Jesus. All right. I should just quit fucking with him and kill him. I'm trying to make it fun. He just doesn't want to let me do it, huh? I do not have Overwatch, no. No Overwatch. Just not big into that type of game. Alright, now... Turn on the lights. What do we got here? Ooh. Some magazines. A book. Great uh, toy car. I'm not going to grab that quite yet. Steam gauge assembly. How are we doing on a weight, though? <sighs> Fuck. Need a lockpick skill of 25. What boosts lockpicking? Okay, I am good on weight, though. Can I take a nap here? On this, uh, stained mattress with body parts? Just for an hour. Ah, beautiful. 
All right, science skill of 25. What am I sitting at? Let's put on this. Does that get me up there? Yes. All right, now I could never figure out how to hack these terminals. I understand, like, I'm going to choose this keyword, leading. It says six of seven, so i got to find a word that has... Like this. One letter difference. Lending. There we go. Disengage lock. Ah, crap. I could have doubled up on the XP by picking the lock on the door. And then using the computer. Okay, so... Actually, I want to leave that on. There's another computer in here I'll need to hack. Ah, uh, wait a minute, though. You know what? Before I... Activate the Securitron, I need to grab a card. So he doesn't shoot me. Where's the employee card at? Empl there it is. Employee ID. There we go. Now let's get this fool activated. Uh, let's see. Freed. Three of five. Five. See, this is how I used to be able to do it. I'd have to back out right before I uh, locked the system. Two of five seals. Three of five. So the EA is the, the good word. The good letters. Cared. Cards. My God. Began one of five. Oh my, that does not help at all. This this is what I did not understand. One of five, correct. Okay, so E was the one there. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Run maintenance routine. That didn't really do anything. It gave me the XP, though. Oh, there we go. Loading personality. Robco R04V9. Office helper. Running default Hi. office protocol. Error. Loading daily agenda. Alright, so he's going to go clear out the rest of the uh, raiders if there are any left. And I'm just going to grab these quantums here. And actually grab the uh, full Nuka Colas. They're worth 20 caps. So why not? One pound worth 20 caps. That's a great haul. Empty, empty, empty box. A couple more quantums. Bonus. And what do we have here? What's this, a vacuum cleaner? That's 10 pounds for 20 caps. Not worth uh, carrying the weight. Not yet in... Ooh, but we've got drugs, uh, Radaways. More drugs. Vodka is always good. Scotch, vodka. Vodka. 
Metal box, cup, knife, negative. Empty whiskey bottle. We're back. Somebody open up the. Hang on. Something ain't right here. Dirty water. Now, I'd say I'd give one of those bottles of dirty water to that uh, beggar sitting out front of Megaton, but he was such a dick about it. Ooh, there's some purified water for me. All right, and it looks like I've picked up everything I need here for the uh, survival guide. So let me just uh, finish grabbing this stuff. And I'm going to head back to town. Oh, I forgot to talk to the old guy at the uh, waterworks. The leather belt? Pressure cooker. Yeah, you know what we can make with that. Nothing until I buy the blueprint, but... Uh, it is worth 15 caps, more scrap metal and wunder glue. Milk bottle. I think I accidentally picked up a milk bottle too that I don't need. Darts. I am going to get the darts as well. Steam gauge assembly. Great, that's 25 caps. Another belt, box. Box Abraxo. Hey, so all right, this fool up here. Kick ass. Oh, all right. Thirty water grenade, police baton. Oh, am I heavy again? All right, what can I drop? I probably don't need... I wanted to repair the armor. That's why I'm holding on to the second... Oh, crap. That's what I forgot to do is change back to the armor. Rum and skin outfit, agility and endurance... Wastelander. Okay, we're going to drop this. There we go. Going to head around the corner. Now, somebody that was on the the intercom up front, hopefully the uh, robot got him. Otherwise, there's going to be at least one more male raider walking around here. Junk food, Nuka Cola. There's the super duper pharmacy key. Now we are a little bit too heavy. Bottle cap mine. Ah, conductor. I think I'm going to strip down one of my 10 millimeter pistols and use it to kind of strengthen the other one. Ah, Lockpick skill of 25. So I'm going to have to come back here. Well, maybe not, actually. Science 15. Let's try put on the utility jumpsuit. Does this bring my skill up to 25? Yeah, yeah it does. Careful now. Boom, that's it. 10 millimeters. Now, let's uh, see if we can lighten our load here with the pistols. Not this one. This one we can repair. Do the same with the assault rifle. And that gives us two pounds of leeway. Now, there's another ammo box here that was also locked. Kind of swinging this around. Now let's head out the front door. 
I don't need to pick up any extra food or anything. Oh, shit. That's that bot. So somebody's around here. Let me turn off the light. Energy cells. Awesome. Okay, I see him. Caution. Caution. Ooh. Damn it, I'm too close to the fucking cabinet. Shooting right into it. There you go. Beautiful. Now, I'm hoping that's the last guy. Weight's a little heavy, but I should just be able to consolidate here. No, I can't, unfortunately. So let me just... Noodles. That helped a little bit uh, health-wise, and it dropped my weight. We're looking clear in here. Good stuff in there. I'll have to come back for it, though. Metal box, metal box. Metal spoon. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot about the uh, whiskey that I have. Let's get some lockpick XP right here. So I picked up an energy pistol and some energy cells here, but uh, that's not really the build that I was going for. Lunchbox, got some smokes. Grab the new Coca-Cola. There's some vodka. I'm just going to use that vodka right there. Laser pistol. Alright, and Scotch Strength plus one. There we go. So I'm not over encumbered at this point. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me. I thought that was a person or something standing up there. Now let me just clear out the registers of the pre war money. Ah, oh, shit. God damn that vodka or that scotch I had it. Really threw my aim off. What is he shooting me with? Damn, Dagny. He took that out. Walrus head, man. Thanks for the follow. Ooh, a sawed off. All right. I don't think the uh, strength benefits stack. So I'm not going to be able to drink another uh, bottle of liquor. So I will have to actually throw something down this time. Let's see what we got here. Here. Console oh, I should probably put my armor back on, right? Armor and helmet, there we go. I cannot put those together. I can't do that. I'm going to drop that one. And we still one overweight. Drop the knife. Those two laser pistols. All right, there, we should be good. Do I check in here? And we're good. I should be able to fast travel back quickly to Megaton and... 
turn in this mission. Look at that. Look at that, man. Gorgeous. Oh, 338 already. Damn it. It's actually almost time for a state of decay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do another mission or two. I don't really want to tell him about Burke. I don't want him to go fuck with Burke, because Burke's going to give me 500 caps. Bonus. Carry on. Uh, plus what he offered to pay me. Once I blow up the town. So... I don't want to uh, kill the golden goose quite yet. Where the hell is Moira's place at? Is that somewhere around here? Okay, there's the supply. I'm on the opposite side of town. I gotta go talk to the old man in the uh, water station, too. Gotta get up there before this vodka wears off. There we go. How you doing today, Walrus Head? Nathan. Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, girl, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth her salt is gonna toss her gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare'll be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Um, why do you support the Enclave, Nathan? Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? I don't know, man. USA is no more, my friend. It's the duty of a citizen to question the government. Why, that's unthinkable. Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government? Huh? All right, man. Do you think people who fought a war with tyrants wanted unquestioning support? Well, when you put it that way, way. You're just trying to confuse me with your fancy vault education and your textbooks. I'll have none of it. Did you have something else you wanted to ask? Or were you done with your crazy talk? Uh, that's going to be uh, it for the crazy talk. That's all I need to hear from you, old man. Anytime you want another lesson, come on by. You know, I think you got schooled here. God bless the Enclave. Later, I got some shit to turn in before this vodka wears off. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mark? Walrus, you know it, man. This is one of my favorite franchises. This is my least favorite game of the last three. But uh, Fallout, if I only had to pick one game franchise to play, it'd be this or Skyrim. Or the Elder Scrolls, I guess. Let's see. I checked out the Super Duper Mart, but there's nothing there. No, I don't want to lie about it. It wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. I found raiders and a robot. It was hardly a safe place to scavenge. Those raiders must have shot me 20 times, but who's counting? Ooh, I'm going to do this one. I had a fun party with some raiders, then a guard robot jumped out of a cake. Well, as long as it was no problem for you then. I mean, who doesn't enjoy cake? Other than robots, of course. I bet they prefer pie. Or maybe pie. <laughs> well, keep what you got. Just You're so clever, for a Moira. Food shipment myself. Here, take a bit, my treat. Tastes kind of, um... 
great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more... better. All right, let's uh, continue on with the first I chapter. Need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I didn't go back to the cache behind Megaton. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Uh, yeah, I will head into Minefield. Very good. Oh, don't worry. No you one guys ever been goes following there because uh, they E3 say it's a ghost so far town? this year. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. That new Assassin's Creed is uh, looking pretty good. And it's uh, done by the same ones that did Black Flag, and that was my favorite Assassin's Creed of all. Actually, most of the other ones were kind of boring. Uh, speaking of that, though, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 is free this month on Xbox. And I never finished that. I love the time period, so I'm definitely going to give that a playthrough sometime soon. What do you need? I just need to sell some of this extra crap I picked up. Uh, let's see. Keep the ammo. Sanitizer. I want to keep that. Conductors. Grab those. Medical brace. Lunchbox. I'll sell those. Smokes, paint gun, pilot lights, uh, pressure cooker. Gonna hold on to the scrap metal. Now, what else do we have to get rid of? Beer. I might hold on to some food just in case. Nuka Cola. Now, was there something I needed to save the Nuka Cola Quantums for? I cannot remember. I know later on I can craft some cool stuff with Nuka Cola bottles. All right, let's do that. Do you have enough caps to cover it? There Good hunting. We go. Try right. not to die. Sounds. Good. Now, let's go through Mine Town. I think I'm just going to do these other two uh, survival guide stories. Is this Nathan again? Yeah. And then we're going to call it an episode for this. And I'll be taking a quick break and jump into State of Decay. Ah, oh, shit. My buzz just wore off. Walter. Yeah? What is it? You sound like Nathan. Are you guys brothers? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. But if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Uh, how many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I I'll keep it in help. mind, my friend. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Well, back to work. Yeah, back to work. You've just been leaning on that rail smoking a cigarette. Yeah, no wonder the pipes are fucking leaking. All right, let's go find the leaky pipes. I know there was one right inside the front door on the left-hand side that we saw. I th think there was one... 
Not sure where the others were. Let's kind of poke around and see if we can't see him, though. What do we got here? The front door, so... There's leak number one. Oh my god, I need a fucking repair skill of 30 or higher. Even with my lab coat, I don't think I can hit that. What am I doing here, though? Dagny level 3. Skill. Oh, yeah, with the lab coat, I should be able to do it, so... Uh... Utility jumpsuit, I mean. Sorry. That's good. Got it going on. Beautiful. One down. Where are the others? I'm almost positive there's one... Somewhere in the middle-ish. Like hanging off the buildings. If you guys remember, uh, feel free to post it up in the comments. I don't really want to be running around here 20 minutes trying to find it. Oh, here's two. Man, we are good at this. I should just kill Walter and take over his job. Live a nice, quiet existence here in Megaton. And... Three? Three? What do we got going down here? Leaky... Oh, there we go. Let's see, what if I go this way? Come on. Prompt me, there it is. There was only three, correct? Suppose I should get my uh, quest log out. Oh, maybe it's not even a quest. Maybe it was just uh, to help him out. Alright, is he still going to be uh, standing up there complaining about how much he works while he leans against the railing smoking a cigarette? Oh, no! Ah, uh, it's alright. No biggie, really. You Lucy, won't get away you? with that. Oh. I really appreciate She caught me sneaking a peek. For me. I'm feeling better already. This doesn't look like she's got hey, anything new to say. Me. It means a lot. Now, where is the supply side? It was up the walkway. I guess I have to go up this one, though. There it is. And the water place is right up here. Ooh, he's actually moved. Maybe he is doing something. Walter. Yeah. What is it? The pipes are all fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running, and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Deal. 
Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Hey, I got some right here. Huh? Yeah. What is it? You want to buy some scrap metal? I sure am, Missy. What have you got for me? I'll just take out all the scrap metal I have. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. All right. Very good. Don't really need any help right now, but thank you. Well, back to work. Not yet, anyway. Doing some uh, early missions here. Wasteland Survival Guide. We're going to head up to Minefield. Now, ooh, that's going to be quite a walk up that way. And before I head out there, though, I need to swing around the backside of Megaton and get that weapons cache that I forgot to get earlier. I just run past the door. What's this? Common house, huh? I don't really want to start any uh, start anything inside yet, because I still need these people. But you can mark my words, I'm going to go clear that common house out before I blow up the town. I do need to um, get my bad, my evil up, I guess. Karma, where's Karma? Should be under stats. Neutral. So I'm just going to have to start stealing a whole bunch of shit and killing innocent people if I want to get my Karma, karma to drop. So heading back out. You know what I should think about doing before I get too far? Putting on my armor again instead of this utility jumpsuit. That would be a good start. I'm uh, going to put on that hat. Gets me a plus one in perception. Badlands armor. We're going to go for security armor. Is my repair high enough yet? No. And I also wanted to... Uh, Get the assault rifle hotkeyed in here. And the baseball bats. There we go. Beautiful. Welcome. Now, it was north I need to go, right? Map. Data map. Yeah. North. Cross the river. Man, that's going to be quite a trek. 1409 already. Can I get there before nightfall? That's the question. Oh, and you know what? I almost forgot again, but I have to head around the back side of town. Because there is an awesome stash hidden back there, so we're going to go for that. Actually, it's, it's not really that cool, but... The longer I keep coming back here and forgetting about it, the uh, better the chance is that I'll just completely forget it. Aren't there some mole rats or something around this way too? They don't see me. Now is this rock here with the three trees? 308, as requested. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Great. Between pistols and sniper rifles, I think I'll be set. I got a stealth boy there. And I must be doing uh, maneuvers at the Air Force Base this afternoon. Not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but wow. 
right, so we're going to get back towards the front. And I'm going to set the sniper rifle up in my hot keys as well. There we are. Just in case somebody attacks me while I'm in the menu. You know, I kind of like to have people watching my back here. Whoop. Yeah, good thing I didn't waste a, a clean water on this fool. Looks like this giant ant probably came and stung him. Now, if he was actually working or something instead of just bumming around out front, he might be alive today. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. All right, and sniper rifle. Ooh, switchblade. Damage five. Is that better than my bat? I gotta get rid of this BB gun. I don't know what I'm carrying it around for. Ooh, no damage eight. All right. So we're gonna sell off that switchblade. Hot key that sawed off shotgun and sniper rifle goes there. And we are set, guys. Let's get on up to minefield. Should be just a straight ride north. Not too bad. I don't have very many rounds there. I've got 14 shotgun shells. Where is my assault rifle? There we go. 159 here. And how we doing on the weight? I probably should have checked this before I left. Uh, we're not too bad. Considering. Alright. I will come through Springvale and clear this out some other time. Uh, for now, I just want to get these two survival guide missions done. Finish chapter one. And then we can call it an episode. And the next one is real easy. I can do that right inside town. So what's going to be the quickest way there? Straight up across the bridge. And here's Silver's house, I believe. Let me get this marked off on the map, too. There we go. Springvale School, that's perfect. Now, I've got to start kind of watching out for critters and shit, too. Got a bunch of stuff crawling around this wasteland. Some of them kill for fun. I think they're all pretty aggressive. The cool thing is they'll all attack each other. Uh, they usually don't fight between the same species, but... Uh, Everything will attack everything else. What the hell was that? Oh, what are you doing here, bud? Ooh. You see that? The fool jumped right over my shoulder and kept on going. Wow, that was a fucking Herculean jump. Alright, I'm getting a little off course here. I want to kind of head... We're going to go around this way. I don't think there was a, a sprint or anything, was there? Can't seem to find it. A crouch. Uh, that zooms out to third person. Looks like an old boat. Uh, anything up here? Hidden. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Was that gunfire I heard, or was that just a, a rock shifting? There's a bunch of boxes. Empty. Ooh, plunger. 
Now we're taking railway spikes though. They don't uh, actually have weight to them. Crate. I'm not too concerned about the rads because I will be uh, getting the rad treatment for the third section of the first chapter in the Wasteland Survival Guide. So, I can get that all fixed up for free. And it's going to save me a little bit of time getting irradiated when I need to do it for Moira. Just as long as it doesn't... Uh-oh. See something on the map. Pip Boy's not actually detecting any immediate threats, though. Let me just kind of. Uh... Ooh, what is this? Just a dog? Come here, boy. There we go. Nine rounds. Got six XP on that. That wasn't too bad. Now I seem to be stuck on this fucking rock. There we go. Perfect. Have you guys played Press X Not to Die? It's a, uh, a Steam game. It should be about a half hour, I've heard. It looks real corny, but kind of fun. So I might uh, give that a try one of these nights. Uh, so if you're interested, um, subscribe to the updates. Actually, who am I kidding? I don't actually post the updates. Uh, but I don't know if it notifies you when I start streaming or not. I mean, if you haven't hit that follow button, it'd be much appreciated. You do get a lot of different things going through here. I'm not a, a one play, one game kind of channel. And some people actually don't like that. They like to uh, just come back to a channel and find the same game or the same type of game every night. But I do my own thing. There we go. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there. Making pretty good time. What's this up here? Ah, okay. I'm not seeing any threats right now. Oh, yep. I am. I am. What is it? Bugs? Raiders? You know what I don't have hot keyed is a freaking grenade. Shit. Probably pull back a little bit, use that rock for cover, and just let them come to me one at a time here. One down. What are you doing, dude? Attacking... Oh, my God! What? I like how he ran back to get the uh, a stick to attack me with. I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me here. Ooh, now this guy right here is kind of cool looking. Actually, I might take his mask. 34% to hit. That's not very good. Let me uh, pull back. Still 30% to hit the head. If I can do one or two shots, though, we might be alright. I just don't think I have a clear line of sight. Alright, he's running away. Not gonna get very far. But let me create a little bit more distance between me and these fools. Wow, and I've burned through half my assault rifle ammo. Let 
There was two more back here, if I'm not mistaken. But where? Where'd they go? Nail board. That was that idiot. Ooh, I got leveled up by just walking around. That's kind of cool. Now, I need to be level 30. Seems on repair, lockpick. So you go up to 50 on small guns. I got three points left. Explosives, energy weapons. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? 36. No, I have not really used melee weapons as much as I thought I would. But I want to fix that, and science, of course. Actually, yeah, take that out of there. We're going to throw one more into science. Don't like having uh, prime numbers here, but I'm just going to have to get over it, right? Now, educated, what is this? Gain three more skill points every time you advance in level. Taking this right now. And comprehension next. Beautiful. And what kind of builds do you guys like? Where are these guys? Where the hell are they? There you are. Pull back a little bit. He's down. Reload. Alright. He's just going to be easier to hit. That's one thing that Fallout 4 did a lot better was uh, the non-vats gunplay. Alright, I think that was all. And I know there's going to be some beds right up there. Hockey mask. Ooh. I grabbed that, a hunting rifle. Now, let's check this guy. Oh, pain spike armor. That actually might... Might be worth uh, upgrading to. Let's take a look at the integrity of my security armor right now. Could have swore there were scorpions around this place last time I visited. I should probably uh, do a quick save here as well. So let's creep around. Man, I've just been getting texts all afternoon about people discussing uh, E3 so far. Have you guys been paying any attention to it? Probably should actually be watching it. You know, maybe I will do that. I'll just do a, a live commentary. Bethesda's showcase was supposed to be this afternoon. Uh, right now, in fact, I'm not even sure. I'll have to check it out. Some more scrap metal for uh, the town. Now, wasn't there a bed around here? There's some toolboxes. Or was it inside the subway station, maybe? Let's see here. It looks like those bandits cleared out. The scorpions. One thing I was still wondering about, though, is when I came up on them before they uh, spotted me, they all looked like they were beating on one dude. And then when I shot them, they all attacked me, including the dude they were beating on. But what was going on there? Do I even want to know, really? Alright, let's get some lights. 
Anything cool in the garbage can? Yeah, a bottle of nuke. And sensor mods. Okay, we're going to have to watch our weight here. I may have to do some consolidation and repairs. Actually, I was looking for a bed to rest in, but if that doesn't work, I might just have to uh, settle down for a meal. And if they have traps and fire barrels here, that probably means there's going to be a bandit or two down here somewhere. Oh, fucking Christ! That scared the hell out of me. Oh, my God. That is the first time I've actually seen that trap. Holy shit. I better check my pants. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anybody down here. Just a bunch of traps. Anything in here? Now I'm definitely going to need something. You know, I usually am when I play uh, Cheese Man, but uh, this time I'm not not so bad. I usually grab every set of armor and just try to keep repairing it all and selling the rest. But how you been lately? I haven't talked to you for a while. I don't know how far down the tunnel I want to go. I just hit a tripwire. Oh, you know what's on Steam sale tonight, uh, this weekend, is uh, Codename Panzer. I think. He I don't know if you're as much into uh, RTS games as I am, but uh, you might want to check it out. I did the tutorial last night. It was uh, actually real fun. If I had more time, I'd play some today, but uh, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. All right, I don't see the bed. I don't remember where the hell it was here. I thought it was right outside in that little shack, but... Apparently not. And I don't want to get too sidetracked. I do have to switch to State of Decay. Uh, in the next uh, hour or so. Got to get at least 90 minutes on State of Decay every Sunday afternoon. And I know some of you guys uh, may be stopping by to watch that and not this, so uh, just bear with me. What the hell did I just do? <sighs> That's the problem. You just start hitting buttons sometimes. Ah, tired of insomnia. I see what you did there. I was going to eat some food. I keep backing out. Vodka. Do I even have any food? Yeah, iguana bits. Let's wash it down with some dirty water. Dirt four, huh? Those stupid iguana bits didn't do much. All right, I'll just take a stim pack. Did you play uh, Dirt Rally? That was the last one, right? Uh, you know what? Me and my friend were actually uh, game hunting at garage sales all day yesterday. And we came across this place that was selling two uh, two wheel pedal assemblies. You know, it was the whole thing and not just the wheel that you put on the table. But they, they still wanted so much for them. Like, uh, one was 250 the other one was 350 
One was for the Xbox, one was for uh, PlayStation. So, I couldn't talk them down past that. Wait, 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 wait. But that would have been cool to have. Jeez, look at me. Am I drunk? Or am I just too close to the rock? Oh! And I tried to quickly switch to my fucking baseball bat. Ooh, sadist armor. That's actually better than what I've got now. Yeah, that's the problem. These were good, though. I've got a Thrustmaster T-150, but it's not the full assembly, it's just the pedals and the wheel. But I actually did... I did find a, uh, a Thrustmaster, one of those... piloting joysticks. It's like the two-piece one that connects together in the middle. I got that for a fucking buck. So, that should be good if I play, like, Elite Dangerous or something. I might use that. What am I looking for? Oh, I've got to uh, see if I can repair this armor. There we go. That's uh, damage resistance 8. Sadist armor is 9. Let's uh, try to repair that here. And that brings it up to 11. Alright, so I might check that out. Man, I hate people like that. It's kind of funny reading... Hearing about it, though. I hate when that happens to me. <laughs> You can't be pasta, though, man. I'd go for pasta over crawfish. I know it's a... It's a regional thing, but... I just... I'm not into seafood... Or any of that weird shit. Actually, my diet is pretty boring. I eat iguana bits here. Maybe, uh... Some dirty water. But yeah. No crawfish. Yeah, well, I'm not a northerner, really. We got uh, Rocky Mountain Oysters as our specialty here. But I'm not going to have those either. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Where, where, where? Ooh, two of them. All right, I better get down here. Head 28%. Oh, that's probably part of the problem. Now that I'm in close range, let me switch to my pistol. Got a feeling this fucker's gonna try to flank me, too. Alright, she's gonna be crippled. Down, and this dude's coming up behind me. There we go, headshot. 89. He had some smokes on him, right? And blast master armor, great. Probably need to repair my armor after that. Ugh, dude, yeah, see, I'm just not a meat eater. Although I did have three burgers at a, a neighborhood barbecue yesterday. They were fucking delicious. Alright. Raider Sadist Armor. Actually, let me put this on. 
Security armor. I don't get any bonuses from the security armor at this point. Police baton. Why am I carrying these around? Damage 5. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm just going to drop those. Hunting rifle. Let's consolidate them. Bottle cap mine the baseball bat. Drop that. The BB gun. Drop that. Got a bunch of pistols. I can't seem to repair them, though. None of them are quite damaged enough. Alright. Well, we are well underweight now. I'm a hoarder when it comes to uh, meds, though. You notice that? It's like I'd rather run around at half health until I can find a bed than to use one of my hundred... Uh, stim packs or anything. How are we looking? Uh, not too bad. I wish I could zoom in a little bit to check my outfit out. But it's cool. I'm still heading the right direction, I think. So, hidden... Not looking too bad. Where the hell is Mine Town? Is it that water tower up there? What do we got coming up here? I should probably start being careful. I like how the textures just kind of pop in as I get closer. Wow. I say that's just dehydration right there, man. That's why the textures are popping in. I've got this sniper rifle I picked up from the cache behind Megaton, too. I've not yet tried it out. We'll see how Dagny works it. If I can get up here... I'll see what this ghost in the middle of town that Moira was talking about really is. Let's see. Is this an actual location? Oh, shit, shit. What do we got? What do we got? Where are they at? Where are they at? What are they? Oh, man. Down, boy. I don't have too much AP here. Ah. ah! What the fuck, dude? Where are you guys coming from? I don't know why I'm carrying around a baseball bat if I can't ever seem to fucking pull it out when I need it. Alright, so I think we got the dogs taken care of. Now, how do I get in here? Is this an actual marked place on the map? Or is this just some kind of uh, tower? Caution. I'm still getting caution warnings. What's this? Uh, another dog. Dogs don't carry money, do they? Alright. Yeah, looks like those feral guys got this. What is he, a blind man? This is his cane? Or is that a fishing rod? What the fuck? Oh, it's a pool key. Okay. Motorcycle helmet. That's not really going to do much for me. All right, well, I guess I cannot... Oh, here's the gate right here. Is this going to help my uh, HP? Yes, it is. It's got that nice, quiet tang of irradiated water.
But we are just about back up to full health. There we go. One more uh, quick swig of this uh, liquid death. Make it two. There we go. Awesome. And we should be good to go. Let's see if we can't uh, take a look down here. See what there is to see. Caution again. Arkansas, sorry. He doesn't see me. Let me just do a quick save here, guys. And I gotta say thanks again for hanging out on this beautiful Sunday afternoon with me. And this is my sniper rifle, huh? Fuck it, I'm just gonna use... 7%, huh? What, uh... I think it's time for some drugs, man. What do you guys think? I can't remember if this is the only guy here. Vodka, I don't want to... I thought I heard something growling. I think it was just the wind, though. Okay, I guess we're just going to see what Psycho does. That's not going to improve my two-hit chance, though. Alright, brah. Let me just get up on this rock here. What's going on? More drugs. And I didn't... What, what is the one that improves... Uh, I shouldn't be standing up. I'm just silhouetting myself against the uh, horizon now. What's the drug that improves uh, the chance to hit? I thought there was one, wasn't there? That was horrible. Oh my god, one shot left. Alright, fuck it. That was kind of bad. I didn't pick up any coke yet, Bronk. Kind of unfortunate. Alright, so... I didn't alert that fool. Five shots with a, uh... Sniper rifle. I heard him echoing across the fucking canyon, but our Kansas didn't seem to hear him. So let's get a little bit closer here. I moved 30 yards closer and I have less chance to hit him now. I guess I've got a pistol though, that's the thing. Yeah, attack speed. I thought there was some buff out, maybe? I don't even remember. I guess we'll find out. Okay, now I think he sees me. Where's my rifle? Is it this one? There we are. Oh, I've got two rounds in this thing. I don't think he actually comes down out of his little tower there, does he? got to kind of watch my feet down here, too. I'm going to hear the beeping, and then I'm going to die. I'm not going to be able to jump back. And if I'm not mistaken, he had a couple friends... Or yeah, there were a couple people. I don't know if they're friends or not. Wandering around the streets here in the town. And it is a good day for a barbecue, but... Shit, I don't think I picked up any ramen meat. I do have the vodka, though. No. 
now, how many of the mines did I have to collect? I think I just had to bring back one. But I do have to walk to the playground in the center of town. And I will actually come back up here and explore the houses next episode. Since I am cutting into a uh, state of decay time right now. As it is. Uh, you missed it earlier, Bronk. Or maybe you didn't. There was this baby carriage trap. It scared the shit out of me. I've not had a jump scare like that in quite a while. Oh shit, he sees me now. Okay, I'm just gonna fire off these two rounds here. And we're just gonna run up. Hope I don't step on any fucking mines. Oh shit! There's one right in front of me. See, this is the problem I'm gonna face. He's got a position where I can't really get to him. Now, does he come down out of the tower? That's the question. I don't remember. If he does... Oh, shit. Hell yeah, he does. He's a fiery old man, isn't he? Don't go losing your head, man. There's the sniper rifle. My other one, the one outside Megaton, was just about ready to fall apart. Oh, fucking Christ. Somehow I stepped on a landmine and it hurt my hand. I should probably save it in case I step on another mine, right? Alright, let's do this. What the fuck? That's one bad thing. I guess turning on a light would help, but... This game is just so bland, it's hard to see the mines anywhere. So let's just kind of be careful. Ooh, god damn it. Scared the shit out of me almost. I'm just going to kind of creep my way up, so bear with me. Son of a... Look at my health. Let me make sure I've got stim packs here. I've got eight left. I've used more than half the stim packs I started out with. Oh man, there was a fucking bed right here. I could have just taken a nap. Ooh, there's some food though. Some hot colas, cherry bombs. All right, I'm just going to take a nap for an hour, guys. Uh, hang out, though. Oh, shit. Very good. Now, mine should be a little bit more visible up here. And I think they were all over the street downstairs, too, weren't they? I'm going to have to grab as many as I can. There's some uh, 308. Let's 
So let me just do this real quick while I'm here. We're going to grab apparel. Put on the utility suit. That should give us enough. There it is. Shotgun shells. All right, now, is that it for up here? Let's see there. There's the playground I want to get to right there. Doesn't look like there's actually much else around here. It still says caution, though. Did you guys see any movement down there? Vats is not targeting anything. There's a mine right there. So we good. I'm still at caution. Don't see why. Unless it's just the mines themselves. Yeah, you can see them all uh, scattered across the street like zits on a fat chick's ass. Oh my god, I was pushing the wrong button. Alright, man, grab some good food. Or some uh, crawdads or crawfish or whatever the hell it was. Either or. Son of a fucking bitch. If I'm not looking at it at the uh, right angle, it doesn't let me uh, disarm it. And where the hell is the uh, the playground? What's happening? Let me check my... St oh, my head is crippled. That explains a lot. Ooh, I'm getting dizzy. All right. Son of a... All right, travel to the playground complete. Let me just go pick up the mines over here. Then we're fast traveling back. I'm gonna turn this in. Uh, do the quick radiation one for her right in town. And then I'm going to take a quick break, so... Grab some of these. Son of a dog. Oh, that reminds me, don't I find the dog around here? Or is he back in the slaver camp or something? Come on, you dummy! I don't know why she just has so much trouble picking those up. It's like quick movements don't seem to work very well in this game. Oh my fucking god, Bronk. I blame... I don't know, I blame myself. Oh my god, and I hadn't even saved it. Oh, no. This is going to be fucking ridiculous. Oh, it's because I put on that damn... That, uh, suit. Break your leg, man. Yeah. Okay. I should have just been happy, fast traveled back to town, and not bothered trying to get that last uh, fucking mine. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, guys.
Do I have to be crouching to pick these things up? No, okay. Now we're gonna go this way. Now they're not too hard to see on the road here. But they are, unless I'm looking right at it, standing right over top of it. I can't seem to fucking grab it. Alright, so we're gonna head back. I thought there was a, a magazine or something in one of these. We're gonna head back uh, to the playground. And then... Now I know there was at least one sitting in this damn playground waiting for me to step on it. Come on. Tick off the list. There we go. Is that it? Not sure where the hell it went. So. Grab that. And that. And this in here. This in here, and this in here. Should have mimed your own business. Oh man, with the jokes. Actually, these are my kind of jokes. We're gonna fast travel back here. And what was I going to do? Crater side. Morning. Let's up this away. Is there a bed in this town? I guess I could go pay. Can I pay at the uh, common house or something? How are those hot little potatoes? Hey, because, you. you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot... Because they, um, explode. Anyway, uh, yeah, okay, what's just, up? uh, let me turn this in. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Ooh... There may have been an explosion or two. Oh, and a sniper, but no big deal. Dagny took care oh, of it. Well, if that's all, I'll just study this and hope there aren't any more explosions, shall I? I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. And the last part of Chapter 1 is about radiation. Ooh, schematics, bottle cap, mine. Yes, Great. that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay, how's that oh, going to be worth it? Don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Okay, I'll get irradiated, and I'll be right back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, Very good. 200 I'll see you, girl. rads should be enough for basic sickness. Ooh, 200. But if 200. you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. 
Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Awesome. See ya. Goodbye. 600 rads. That's the target. Let's see what we're sitting at now. I drank a bunch of water earlier. Harden. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Is there actually water here I can drink? Oh wait, I can drink the water right down next to the bomb. There's a water fountain in here though. I'm not sure if all water gives me the same same benefit. Isn't there a freaking water fountain? Ah, well. Screw it. I guess we'll go find out, won't we? What am I sitting at now? What is that under stats? Sixty-five, all right. My hand is still crippled. Lucy West. She doesn't really do much of anything except wander around town moping about her parents, does she? Let me uh, change back into my armor before I forget to do it again. Security armor. Looking at Blastmaster. How does that look? Give your body Sexy. Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divided. There shall be no tears. Uh, this does not actually seem to be giving me any health at all. I think more... Oh yeah, there it goes. Just a little bit. Not nearly as much as that other one. Your suffering... It shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Minor rad poisoning. Let's uh, kind of watch the progression as it goes. Atoms glow. 217, we are looking good, man. This is fucking glowing. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. That's not a fifth limb, man. You know what that's coming. What oh, that is, yeah. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come drink with me and pray. Man, this guy's uh, proselytizing is getting on my nerves. Where is my radiation sickness? Advanced red 400. Come on. I just want to get this done so I can leave. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide that water does not look too bad, does it? Especially considering how old this game is. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom, I'm glowing. You missed our discussion about uh, ghouls and pregnancy and offspring and stuff. Until the... 577, uh, just another sip. That should do it right there. Alright. Oh, God, I can barely walk. Girl, what are you doing to me? Where the hell's the uh, walkway? It's up over here, isn't it? Let's see if he compliments on my glowing complexion. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. All right, have Sheriff, you have a good day. Oh, man, I do not feel well. What are some of the negatives of this much sickness? Negative one strength, negative three endurance, and two, negative two agility. 
interesting. So close. That'd be funny if her shop closed up by the time I made it upstairs and I had to sit all night. This radiation poison. Oh, God, help me. You better help me. Myra. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> this isn't a time for jokes. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. If I listen closely, I can hear my jeans crying. Oh, so you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, I'm glad I could help. Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. All right, now when you suffer from advanced rad poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. I just don't think I ever suffer from advanced rad poisoning. Unless I'm drinking water from the bomb. That completes the first chapter, yep, right? You've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still have got two more chapters to go. Right, what do we have here? The second chapter All right, let me just pick up trickier, this assignment cover here. How Actually, to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. I'll do this example, later. I'll grab this uh, next rats. episode. We're gonna finish up her book and when all else as soon fails, as possible. Then kind of clear injured. up everything else in town. So let's down and get to work on this then chapter. we just might have to blow What's it up. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Well, I. But come back soon. All right, guys, that sounds good, though. I'm going to take a quick break and put in State of Decay for uh, an hour and a half or so. So if you want to hang out, uh, great. If not, stop back later on. And if you haven't hit that follower button yet, uh, it's much appreciated. So I will talk to you soon. Hope you're having a great day. This is Dr. John Galt signing off.